Hi guys, Liam here from IDS. Today we're going to be having a look at how to use timers, labels and buttons to create a stopwatch. Okay, so for this episode we're going to need a single view application. So click on that. And now I'm just going to call it um, using timers. the device doesn't really matter and then select all three options below and just choose a place to save it right so in our header file we're going to create this all programmatically so we're not going to use interface sorry interface builder at all today um, so in the view controller.h we're going to press enter under the at interface and create two curly brackets next we're going to comment and we're going to use a boolean um, variable so basically this will tell us whether the stopwatch is running so we'll call it bool, bool active semicolon and then we're going to need to create an integer which is int in time this will keep track of the time and then we're going to create our properties that property non-atomic Wrong. We want an NS timer. This is what we use for timers. So NS timer, and then I'm going to call it timer main. And then we need a label to display the time. So non atomic strong UI label label time. Sorry, time. And then another one which will be our button to start and stop the uh, stopwatch so we want UI button button action and finally we need two methods for the timer so we're going to go void timer start and then void timer control So if you just want to take a quick look at that. Right, okay. So that's us done for our header file. So if we just save that, uh, you can do that by pressing Command Save on the file you're on. And if we head on to the main file, then this is where we're going to be doing our code. Okay, so First of all, you might find it useful to comment all of your methods, like I'm doing here. So if I zoom back out and just build the app, you'll notice we'll get some um, incomplete implementation warnings. Sorry, let me just look at my notes okay so in the view did load we're basically going to need to create our label our button and start the timer um, if someone presses the button so if I zoom in here for you guys okay so we're going to do to create the label we're going to do label Oh, sorry. First of all, we need to synthesize our uh, variables. So we're going to go label, timer, and button. So under create label, we're going to go label time equals UI label, let UI label alloc init with frame, and we're going to go CG rect make. And I'll just do zero, zero. Actually, if I do twenty, twenty. If we do three hundred, actually two eighty, and then thirty. That should centre it um, horizontally in the middle of the screen because our iPhone screen is three twenty wide. Um, then we're going to go on 
label time dot text equals at rotation marks and then just put the zero in there because we haven't yet started the stopwatch label time dot uh, text color equals UI color black color label time dot font UI font system font of size and I'll just choose uh, 30 see if that fits and then we need to add the uh, label to the um, uh, view so for this we do self dot view add sub view and label time center and semicolon if I zoom out and then we'll run it using iPhone, see what we get. Okay, as you can see, we've got the zero here for stopwatch, but ideally that needs to be a bit bigger. So if we just change the 30 to 50 and the system font size of 40.0, that should be big enough. And one thing we need to do is align it to the center. text alignment so UI text sorry no square bracket UI text alignment center so if I zoom out again and run the app you can see that we have the zero in the center of the screen there okay then so now that we've created the label we want to create the button And for this, what we're going to do, so if I just zoom in a bit further for you guys, we're going to go button action equals UI button, button with type, UI button type, and then we want rounded rectangle. And then we're going to go button action dot, uh, what should we do next? Dot frame, CG rect make. And we'll just do the same as the um, label, so we're going to go 20, but this time we want about 60 so that it doesn't overlap. And then just 280, 50 again, semicolon, and then we'll do button action. Uh, sorry, we'll set the title now of the button, so we'll go button action, set title at start, close the quotation marks, and UI control state normal, close bracket semicolon. And then we need to add the action, uh, so basically when they press the button, what's actually going to happen, so for this we do add target, target is self, the action is at selector timer start, and then for UI control event, this is basically what do they have to do to the button uh, to get it to activate. And we're going to do UI control event touch up inside. Close bracket semicolon. And finally, we just need to add it to the view. So we go self view, add sub view, and then button action. 